Anya. Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. is counting on us, my brothers and sisters. you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. No seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out.
should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days?
get across to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead crane. I need to power up this overhead crane. Moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss.
Sounds like someone is putting up a fight. Take my hand! You a preacher? No, this? <laughs> Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old timer friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said, Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <coughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. 
No, they ain't drafting people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of cantankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. The difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war! Don't spill that shit on the table, Horton, and lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terror Belly, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terror Belly. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, falsified cowards, goddamn traitors? seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over Horton special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Popped the hood, pulled some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind her temper. Horton, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! Let's see what this puppy can do.
dog. You've been a good friend, but now you're just too damn big.
Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton. What's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Now make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Next stop, Lakeview District. Nazis here, boss us top side of the. Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. Terror Billy, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, cause we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here. Christ, Chris, I was close. You're still a Conrag, mind you, but you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Blaskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass!
Blazkowicz. All of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Got it. Looks like the Alsmercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? For our angle, commands him now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alsmercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alsmercer swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Alsmercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmers is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes.